The Austin Nature and Science Center welcomes you to our fifth installment of Tiny Tours Animal Exhibits. In this episode, we're heading to the animal aisle to meet a very special friend. This friend is Pogo the Common Raven. But before we learn a little bit more about what a cool creature Pogo the Raven is, we're going to learn a little bit about why Pogo lives here at the Austin Nature and Science Center. ANSC exhibit animals like Pogo are rescue animals and cannot return to the wild. Many have permanent injuries or are imprinted and rely on humans for their care. Pogo has an injury that prevents him from flying properly, but the main reason that Pogo lives at the Austin Nature and Science Center is that someone once kept him as a pet. This means that Pogo has imprinted on humans. But what does it mean to imprint exactly? When certain species of animals are born, they do not automatically know what kind of species they are. During their early formative period of development, they will identify their parents with whatever animal is caring for them and identify as that species for life. This can cause many issues for their survival. Imprinted animals at the Austin Nature and Science Center can no longer survive in the wild on their own because they never learned their own species' natural behavior. Now that we know why Pogo lives with us, Let's take a closer look at this incredible bird and others like him. Ravens are the largest member of the songbird order and can be found all across the Northern Hemisphere. They are incredibly intelligent and often social with one another. Here you can see Pogo being visited by some wild ravens. Ravens are often said to have the intelligence of a three-year-old child which means that they can learn and recognize people's faces, communicate complex thoughts with one another, and even solve certain puzzles. Because of Pogo's high level of intelligence, our animal keepers are kept busy constantly giving him new forms of enrichment to keep his mind active. Thank you for joining me today to learn all about Pogo the Raven. If you like Pogo and other animals like him, there's lots of ways that you can help. First is to remember that wild animals are not pets. If you ever come across a wild animal that appears like it needs help, there are many resources in Austin that can help you. We'll learn more about that next week. For now, keep being good stewards of our natural environment, and I'll see you next time, friends.